When we run research studies investigating patellofemoral patients, one of the things we need to ensure is that the patients that come into the studies genuinely have patellofemoral pain. As I've already described, one of the big issues is about the diagnosis of patellofemoral pain. So to assist us with this, we have a series of tests. We have three tests that we use and if the patient complains of pain on two of these three tests then generally we would think that they would be acceptable for the research study. The first of the test is the resisted isometric quadriceps contraction. So Ari, if you just bend your knee slightly for me. You put your hand on the opposite leg, rest the leg that you're going to test on your arm and the instruction to the patient is I want you to straighten this knee for me and I'm going to try and stop you with my left hand. Okay, so straighten me. Okay, and relax. Okay, and was there any pain when you did that? No. Okay, and so you ask the patient whether that's painful and what you're looking for is pain provocation. So if the patient says yes, that's painful, then that ticks the box and you might consider that they would be eligible for your study. So you need two out of three tests, and that's number one.